today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be surprising Ragu, my little baby piglet that I rescued from a slaughterhouse when he was only just four days old. And I'm going to be surprising him with a giant pumpkin. Look how massive this pumpkin is. We introduced Ragu to the giant pumpkin right here. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. So guys, in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be surprising Ragu, my little baby piglet that I rescued from a slaughterhouse when he was only just four days old. And I'm gonna be surprising him with a giant pumpkin. Now guys, before we can surprise Ragu, I have to actually go get the pumpkin and Ragu is gonna be able to devour the entire thing, but guys, if you want to see Ragu's rescue video before you watch this video, then guys, what are you waiting for? It's going to be the second link in the description down below. All right, guys, I have made it to the pumpkin patch, and I'm going to walk around and try to find the biggest pumpkin here, so I'll catch you all once I'm inside. So guys, you can see that there's just a giant assortment of pumpkins everywhere, all different sizes. But guys, drumroll please, we have found the perfect one for Ragu. It is nice and giant. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys me holding this bad boy. Guys, just look how massive this pumpkin is. So we are going to head to the checkout and we are going to buy this big old pumpkin. So guys, I got the pumpkin loaded up for Ragu right here. Now we are going to head and go pick him up. And then once we pick him up, we are going to head to my brother's so he can have a pumpkin feast. All right, guys, so you can see right here that I have the retractable leash on Ragu. And you can see he has completely outgrown the harness. So right now, he actually has a collar on his waist that is not too tight and not too loose. It's actually perfect for him. And he just absolutely loves going on walks. So... We are going to have Ragu walk this way and we are going to head and put him in the car to go eat his pumpkin. Guys, so we introduced Ragu to the giant pumpkin right here. And you can see that he's a little interested. But before we actually give him this ginormous pumpkin to eat, we're going to have to cut the top out. Because we are going to feed the seeds to Jacob's tortoises and lizards. Because guys, if you did not know this, that is a natural dewormer for them and they just absolutely love it. So before we can actually give Ragu this ginormous pumpkin that is literally bigger than him, we are going to have to carve this out and get all of those seeds out. So guys, we have made the first cut to the pumpkin right here. Now we're going to do that to the entire top of the pumpkin and make a complete circle around it. So guys, I'll catch you all once this is completely off. A few moments later. Now guys, we have completely got the top of this pumpkin. If you want to take a look inside, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of seeds to get out, guys. If you look right here, we are going to be putting the seeds in this pot. And we have already started, but we have a lot of work to do. So I'll catch you all once this pot is completely full with seeds. So guys, I am in the back of my brother's property. Now, if you look right here, we have the seeds and we have some of this, you know, good old pumpkin mixed in here. So it is nice and tasty for the lizards and for the tortoises. Now, right here, we have the Galapagos tortoise pit. So my brother has two Galapagos tortoises. You can see one right over there in the middle and the other little baby, I have no idea where it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head inside and we're gonna feed them some pumpkin and some seeds. All right, guys, so right here we have Jacob's biggest Galapagos tortoise. Now, guys, it is not full grown yet, but he is pretty massive and he is on the move. Now, guys, full grown, they can weigh up to 500 pounds. Now, this, this guy is already a big boy, but we are going to grab a handful of this stuff. We're probably going to give him a little more. So I'm just going to put it right here. And oh my gosh, guys, he is already so enthusiastic. Here, buddy. Oh my gosh. There's some nice pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Oh, you dropped it, buddy. Here you go. Eat some good pumpkin. It's so tasty. Oh, yeah. Buddy, you ran over your pumpkin. So, guys, you can see that this big boy is munching on his pumpkin and his seeds. So, we're going to let him do that, and we're going to go find the other baby Galapagos tortoise to feed him some pumpkin and seeds. Guys, right, so I had to completely climb into a bush, you can see. But you can see we found the baby Galapagos, and you can just tell that he is a lot smaller than the big Galapagos. So, I'm going to hand him some seeds and pumpkins. Buddy, look. A yummy, yummy tree. Guys, he might be a little scared that we are just completely hovering over him. So I'm going to give him a little more seeds. And then we're just going to leave him right here to munch on the seeds. 
so he's comfortable that he's nice alone in this bush. Guys, now we are in the red foot enclosure. Guys, if you take a look, my brother has a good 15 to 20 red foot tortoises. So I'm gonna give them a big slab of pumpkin right here. Whoa, 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 sorry, buddy. And I'm gonna grab a handful of seeds and more gooey stuff, spread it around everywhere. And once they see it, this color of the pumpkin is gonna attract them in. They are just gonna come over and start munching on the pumpkin. Guys, look at that. These little guys absolutely are going to devour this pumpkin. They absolutely love it. So I'm gonna head over to the enclosure right next to us to feed some more tortoises. Now we are in the cherry head tortoise enclosure and I'm gonna put this little thing right here. Here you go, little guy. Guys, now there are about three or four cherry head tortoises in here. Now I'm gonna give them a nice handful of seeds. There you go, guys. It's yummy. Wait, wait, you can't have the pot. You gotta eat the pumpkin, not the pot. Look, so yummy. All right, guys, so we're gonna leave them here and now we're gonna head to the lizard enclosures and we are gonna go feed them the rest of the pumpkin. So guys, you can see that we have already put the pumpkin in the Lewisite iguana cage and they are already chowing down and we have a little bit left to give the Cuban iguanas. But look, just they just absolutely love it. Right here we have the male. You can see that he is a lot larger than the female right here. Now right here is the female. You can see that she is a lot smaller than the male right here and her colors are not as vibrant as the male. Guys, so I just put the pumpkin in the Cuban iguana enclosure and you can see that the male is already munching down and the female is in the back corner right there. Not really interested. I don't know if you can see her if it focuses. I don't think the camera's gonna focus, but just look how different he is from the Lewisite iguanas. Just his coloring, his scales, everything. I mean, it is just amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you here. Enjoy your little snack and I'm gonna go feed Ragu now. Guys, uh, I was literally only gone for like 10, 15 minutes and Ragu is just destroying the grass. Guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what he's doing right now. Ragu, buddy, have you made yourself a little mud pit? What are you doing? Look at his little tail wagging. How many grubs have you found, guys? You can just see that Ragu here is just rooting away at the yard and he is just having a total blast. Buddy, what are you doing? You're so cute. Your little dirty nose. So guys, you can see I have the giant pumpkin in my hand and Ragu is right there waiting for his nice yummy feast. So all I'm gonna do is, if I can pick it up. <laughs> so this pumpkin was harder than I expected. So I'm gonna try that once again. So guys, okay, you can see that we have it. I smashed it a little bit. I'm not too strong, but I'm just gonna pick it up again and Okay guys, we are making some progress here. We're just gonna rip it open. Oh, Jesus. Guys, this is this is not as not as easy as it seems. It is quite difficult. So I'm just gonna start ripping the pieces off. And you can see Zena and Bruno have joined me for this pumpkin feast as well. And I'm gonna go grab Ragu and see what he thinks about this big pumpkin. Guys, take a look right now. Ragu is just so interested and he's already munching on this pumpkin. He just absolutely loves it. Ragu, is that some good pumpkin, buddy? You have a long way to go to finish that pumpkin, my little friend. You are gonna be one big little piggy once you are done with this entire thing. Is it tasty, guys? He just loves this pumpkin. Guys, so I'm gonna just grab a handful right here and see if Ragu wants to eat, you know, this yummy, yummy, gooey pumpkin part look ragu oh my goodness it's so tasty guys he is loving his pumpkin he just thinks that it tastes so yummy look ragu eat some pumpkin in my hand buddy mm, that's a good pumpkin guys a uh, ragu is completely making a mess of himself in this pumpkin i mean this pumpkin is so giant compared to him he has a lot of pumpkin to devour so he's gonna be here for a little while just munching away at this pumpkin all right ragu we're gonna leave you here we'll check on him in a little bit and see his progress guys you can see that Zena has joined ragu on his pumpkin fun and she is just munching at a piece of her own Zena, is that good pumpkin oh my goodness come here girl look eat your pumpkin that's so yummy what are you doing one hour later guys we have come back 
to see if Ragu has finished the pumpkin and he just completely abandoned the pumpkin and now he's playing with Bruno and they are just giving each other kisses and just sitting in front of each other just loving on each other what are you doing look how cute this is guys Bruno is that your best friend is that your little friend oh that's so sweet oh Ragu Guys, if you look right here, Ragu is trying to uh, taste and uh, get a nice treat out of Bruno's lip right here. He is just trying to nibble on it. Maybe he thinks it's a nipple. Ragu, what are you doing? You're so gross, buddy. Now guys, I'm just gonna leave these two to play. Now guys, that is going to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you thought about me surprising Ragu with a giant pumpkin. Now guys, if you wanna see more animal videos and videos like Ragu, then what are you waiting? Do not hesitate and subscribe to my channel in the link down below.